340 if you do not know these dudes bro these my boy they made music and they just started animating and the way I found out about these dudes was by young gun the young done the south sky but bro I gotta ask you what the f what do you mean that you deep thought it a girl you mean with your tongue with your tongue bro do you <laughs> Yeah, we better go ahead and get into it. Holy shit, I felt like Holy shit, I forgot to put my earphones in. Okay. Holy shit, I felt like I was deep throating this girl's tongue. I caught it. Wait, Aaron? No, oh, Aaron. <laughs> don't do it. I told y'all, Aaron is a minute to society. Real quick before we get into the next video, I want to announce the winner of the signed 340 Ori poster, and his name is Carlos Savage 21 Make sure you check your DMs on Twitter and send us your information so we can send you this bad boy signed by me and Feet. And if you want a chance to win a signed 340 Ori poster, all you gotta do is follow us on Twitter, link in the description, and retweet our last pinned tweet. Pick a random person out of those retweets every week, and we send y'all a signed 340 Ori poster. We love you guys. Make sure you subscribe to this channel, leave a like, support your boys, and let's get right into the video. Cartoon. Huh? Oh, Madara. Have you ever done something that you probably weren't supposed to be doing, and then right after, you feel instant regret yeah me too Ew, you nasty ass <laughs> the point is i've done drinking milk y'all calm down bad things but that doesn't make me a bad person i just thought about what i just said i mean i'm lactose intolerant i just want to put it out there that's exactly what it means this one takes place back in middle school it was a special time for me Probably one of the best years of my life because I was definitely down to do stupid shit and dumb shit makes good memories. There was this girl and her name was Jade. Jade. If I had to describe her, she was a quiet girl. Why do I she got on PJs? Girl, she kept to herself, a little shy. She looked sleepy, tired, and hot at the same time. But at the same time had a bright personality and she was cute. She checked off all the boxes. Just a great girl all around. Jade had a crush on me. No one told me, but I knew it. Dog, it was like one of those situations where I would tease her almost every day in class. But you know, like an anime not in a girl. mean way or anything, in a cute way. And her reaction would always be her trying to act mad, but she wasn't mad. It's actually a proven fact that girls like dickheads. Treat them like shit, and they'll do a split on your dick. You don't believe me? Just ask this guy. What the fuck is wrong with you? Oh my I god. Class one day and we were in Miss Tootsie's class. Now Miss Tootsie was one of those lit teachers. Tootsie. Tootsie, Tootsie, Tootsie. But not by choice. She was way too nice. She couldn't control the class for shit. And the crazy part was she never wanted any of the students to get in trouble. And I'm not a principal or anything, but if you let 13 and 14 year old kids smell weakness in your teaching, we will dominate you. When I tell you, we could literally do anything wow, no we like that. in that class. I mean anything. Now to a brawl breaking out at a South Florida high school. The video was posted online and it is now going viral. Puts that student into a headlock before both eventually fall to the floor. The Now this was perfect for me because I spent all of my time in class either daydreaming about Jade or actually messing with her. Because again, I already knew she liked me, but today, Oh, today, Jade was looking beautiful. I don't even remember what she did differently. I was 14 at the time. Maybe she put her hair in one of those messy buns. I mean, even to this day, I like when girls do that. I don't know, but it was more than enough for me to start planning my life out there. <laughs> I can see it now. Jade Walker, giving her my last name and all. Fucking beautiful. But y'all know how that middle school love goes. You hell bent over the fact that this shit gonna be forever. Meanwhile, shit only lasts in a week, and y'all broke up because you cut her in the lunch line. Needless to say, I made up my mind. I was gonna ask Jade to be my girlfriend. Hey. Oh, uh, hey. <laughs> what you doing? 
I'm just, you know, working on some schoolwork. Oh, nice, nice, nice. What do you want, Wyatt? Oh, nothing. I'm just, um, you know, thought you looked really cute today. Thank you. Oh, yeah, yeah, you're welcome. I want to be my girlfriend. What did you say? Nothing, forget it. <laughs> the answer's yes. My nigga. <laughs> Yo, I'm in a relationship now. Everything was different. Jade is my significant other. So now we're in the back of the class just talking about how we were about to spend the rest of our lives together. The weird thing was, me and Jade literally have never, never. had a real genuine conversation before. Again, 13 and 14 years old. Our relationship was built off of teasing each other in class. So the fact that we were so infatuated with each other. <laughs> Why'd she look yeah, like that? Even at that age, your boy was about that action. I was trying to get some. And no, I'm not talking about SEX. Y'all crazy as shit. I was in sixth grade. SES Kissing a girl at that age was the equivalent of me bagging the cheeks at my age now. And on the first day of dating, if mm. I was able to pull this off, I'd probably go down as one of the smoothest sixth graders to grace this planet. Jade, you know, since we're like official now, mm. I was wondering if you've ever, you know, kissed a guy before. Um, no, I, I haven't. I see, I see. Well, do you want me to be your first kiss? Maybe. Like, only if you're ready. I, I don't want to like move too fast or anything. Meanwhile, everyone in the class started to realize something was about to go down. People started surrounding me and Jade almost as if there was a school fight. All eyes were on us. Why? Everyone's looking. I don't know. I'm kind of nervous. Don't worry about it, baby. Just focus <gasps> on me. We slowly started to lean in and this moment felt so magical. And then it finally happened. We locked lips. If you shop on Amazon, you should use this tool. It's a browser extension that automatically... Nah. Nani? Bruh, what the fuck is going on? <laughs> this girl almost fucking killed me. I went in for a smooch, you know, an extended pop kiss. Jade literally, no exaggeration, stuck her entire tongue down my throat. Holy shit, I felt like I was deep throating this <laughs> girl's tongue. No man should ever have to experience something going that deep down their throat. Unless that's like your thing. And By the way, you're gay. Ah! <laughs> so that was like that one girl from Instagram that got that long alien versus predator, John. That shit is not from this earth, bro. I was gagging and gasping for air at that same time. She was getting into it and grabbing the back of my head and shit. This bitch is trying to kill me. <laughs> Finally, I mustered up the strength and yanked this girl off of me. <laughs> What's wrong? Is everything okay? <laughs> is everything okay? What's wrong with you? You almost killed me! The entire class is watching and I can start to feel her embarrassment. She literally just told me she's never kissed anyone else before. And it was clear that she was nervous. And I got that, but I don't know. I was so traumatized. All I could think was, this girl just tried to kill me. And I don't know what got over me, bruh. Every no, not here, not here, not here, not here, Cause I can't be with no girl that can't kiss. Erin Yeager. That was fucked up. Jade's entire face turned so red that shit started to look purple. And then she exploded into tears and ran out the classroom. Holy shit. I have never seen such sadness in my life before. Why did I do that? And why did I do that in front of the entire class? She did not deserve that shit. Lunchtime came around and I felt absolutely terrible. I had random people coming up to me all day. Some making fun of her and some defending her saying I was a piece of shit. Which I was. It wasn't right away, but one day I actually built up the courage to apologize to her. And she didn't accept my apology. She actually told me she hated me. She never wanted to speak with me again. 
rightfully so. Thankfully though, by the time we graduated middle school, she was over it. We even shared a dance together at the 8th grade prom. That was nice. Moral Aww. of the story, just because you did something bad, doesn't make you a bad person. But at the very least, definitely try to be mindful of the people's feelings around you, or else you might say something or do something that might turn you into someone that you can't take back. And that's all for this story. If you're new to the channel, make sure you leave a like. Bruh, see that what happened when Evan Yeager take control, bruh. When Evan Yeager take control, ain't nobody safe. Ain't nobody safe, bro. But y'all, don't forget to like, comment, share, subscribe. Comment down below what y'all want to see. We out, please.